Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to show you your forecast for the severe weather for the rest of the day today, tonight, and into tomorrow morning. What's going on with these storms? We actually had a tornado outbreak yesterday. We had 18 tornadoes. A couple of those could have been recycled, but it was a lot of tornadoes. We did lose two or three people in the Cole, Oklahoma tornado, unfortunately. So, God bless their families over there. And there's more risk for today. Now, these are firing up all morning long, and you're getting a lot of snow in Minnesota. Now, Duluth, Minnesota, you actually hit your number one record, 135 inches of your heaviest snowfall season so far is this year. Uh, Minneapolis, you're still a little bit away from it. and don't look like you're going to get much more, but Duluth is getting more snowfall. But you are going to get this big line of storms that's going to form up for today that we need to think about. And all day long, there's a damaging wind threat. There's chances for tornadoes, and there's chances for a lot of large hail. And this is going to train over the same areas for a while and bring a lot of flooding. So we'll come back to this in a minute. Let me show you some information so you know what you're looking at when we come back to this. We had many tornadoes over here in, in western, southwestern Iowa, just like I showed you yesterday on the Helicity Values, eastern, north, northeastern Kansas, and we had a bunch of tornadoes in Oklahoma for yesterday. Now, my good friend Reed Timmer, he was near the Cole, Oklahoma tornado. So I do have this video in the description so you can go see it. He's an actual meteorologist, and he's the only one that actually gets into the tornado and lets you know what it is that you're dealing with. So make sure you go see the video in the description so you can see what this storm carries, guys, because it is very intense. Now that is just so intense what Reed goes through, so God bless you, Reed. Be careful, brother. Now you can see your severe weather for today. You have chances for hail, even significant hail right here in this black. So Houston all the way up towards Dallas. Be aware, you do have some storms coming through later today and overnight hours that could be bringing this large hail, as well as this big 15% going all the way up. Here's your cities and states at risk, and the significant hail is the white on top. You also have chances for damage and winds today. This big 15% as well as this 5%. And you have chances for tornadoes today. You have the 2% over here for the North Ohio Valley, Lower Great Lakes, over here in the South Central as well. And I can see actually a little enhanced section growing right here for Texas, for Southeastern Texas, Southwestern Louisiana, possibly for hail, maybe a chance for some tornadoes. But I think it's going to turn into a damage and wind and a hail threat later today. But so far, here's some of your larger cities within a 25-mile radius that has the tornado threat for today. And you do have Chicago, Houston, San Antonio, Dallas, and Austin all in this threat. And you do see it does go through Arkansas as well. It does go through Illinois, eastern Iowa, southern Wisconsin, and eastern Missouri. And I expect this to shrink down early this afternoon, and we're going to be dealing with this area all night and into the morning. And then for tomorrow morning, it does go lower to the south. You can see there's no chances for tornadoes. That could be upgraded to just a small area. But there is chances for wind and there's chances for hail as you go through tomorrow as well. Then as you go through Saturday, guys, as this carries towards the east coast, you do have a 5% area right here also for Texas. And you do have a slight risk, a 15% over here for the coast of Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. And this is going to be mostly a damaging wind event and potential hail, guys. So here's your cities and states at risk for Saturday as well. Now you can also see what your cape, what your lift, and it lifts all the way up today, all the way to around noontime. And it goes right over eastern Iowa into southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, even some for Michigan, and it goes all the way down towards Texas. This is where we're going to get a big line of storms, big linear line going afternoon long. And this is going all the way until about 7, 8 o'clock. Then it's going to dissipate very quickly and go down to the south overnight hours until the early morning hours. For southeastern Texas mainly, for southwestern Louisiana, a big hot spot. I can see maybe some straight line winds coming. There is a potential squall line. And then for tomorrow is for the south as well with your lift. So you can see for this morning you have the snow, you have the storms going through. But once you get around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock this morning, then you start getting some discrete cells that does pop up for Oklahoma as all this line goes all the way into Illinois, southern Wisconsin. Then you start getting all these little supercells that pop up all the way to 1 and 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Illinois, southern Wisconsin, Missouri, all the way into Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma, all the way into Texas. And if you watch, that hangs around all the way until the late afternoon. You even get a couple big cells that pop through Illinois. But then you start losing your lift. 
So now you're starting to look at a damage and wind event that's coming out. You can see all the bowing out in this all the way down. So once you hit around 8, 9 o'clock at night, you still have all these thunderstorms going on. But now your lift is going further to the south. And you can see for Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas, you have a lot of nasty cells that pass through all night into the early morning hours. Then you start to look like you get a damage and wind event that passes by Dallas, by Houston, right in between the two main cities. And it does go towards Lake Charles. You can see the bowing out in the model data is showing that it could be a lot of damage and winds coming with that cell all the way to the early morning hours and then for tomorrow as well. Now for tomorrow, you can see how you don't get a lot of lift in the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley. It don't have a lot of threats for the tornado chances, but you can also see with the storms that the storms do pass by all for tomorrow and it does go all across Tennessee and Kentucky all the way until the afternoon. So that is where the main threats, a lot of the flooding is gonna be. A lot of this is gonna train guys in the same regions for hours so there is going to be a flash flooding threat as well now when you look at your winds up aloft to see if there's going to be a lot of rotation with these storms chances for a lot of shear and bring these tornadoes you see where your strong shear is and it starts leaving as you get around 11 and 12 o'clock in the morning then once you get into the afternoon and you get that big line of storms you can see over here for illinois maybe even southeastern missouri you still have some winds aloft that could shear up a tornado or two but you see how much weaker it is for the south all the rest of the evening then you get that squall line that pops up for texas late night overnight hours and you are getting a lot of winds aloft on that one so that could be damaging winds and it could be a potential spin up you have winds aloft you have a lot of cape in the atmosphere a lot of lift and these storms could spin up a tornado either a tornado or high damage and winds for southeastern Texas going into southwestern Louisiana. So Houston, Dallas, Beaumont, y'all need to be aware of the overnight hours. It looks like it's really going to be strong for y'all. And you can see what a holistic vibes, which shows us our strong updrafts, which could be a potential strong supercell, potential chance for a tornado or a lot of hail. You can see all morning long we have it for eastern Kansas going into northern Missouri. And then it's kind of weak all afternoon long. We get a lot of these storms that burst up. But you see as you go towards 5 and 6 o'clock tonight, start getting strong cells passing through Texas. Then you go overnight and you get that strong cell for southeastern Texas, southwestern Louisiana as that pushes into the Gulf. So I really believe the overnight hours is going to be dangerous for southeastern Texas, southwestern Louisiana, while you'll have these storms all day long. And you can see all the way until 7 o'clock tomorrow night with National Weather Service that there is a big hot spot for a lot of heavy flooding. Now, we're getting some flooding in the upper Midwest because all this snow is melting. Matter of fact, the Mississippi River is way above level. It's not dry anymore. But now you can see you have 2 plus inches of rainfall. For Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, southeastern Missouri, southern Illinois, and a little bit going into Tennessee and Kentucky on the western side. And starting around noon, all afternoon long and overnight hours, you're going to get all this snowfall. For the Dakotas, mostly North Dakota, eastern South Dakota a little bit, but northern Minnesota, y'all going to be getting crushed on these records. Duluth, you already number one snowiest season ever, and you're going to crush that record. But this is bringing flash flooding for today. So you do have the marginal in the green all the way down to the south. And you do have the slight risk for those storms that I showed you that train all day long. And then it's going to move for tomorrow. Now you're going to have the slight risk in this region while you have the marginal going all the way up to the Ohio Valley. So you need to be aware of this heavy flooding. This is two plus inches of rainfall and it will create your flash flooding. Plus, your latest update on Nevado del Ruiz volcano in Colombia. It's still showing strong activity. It is still expecting it to erupt within days or weeks. Still don't have a time span, guys. But we are still getting activity going on with this volcano. And the current status is erupting. It's on a 4 out of 5 scale. It's almost on the highest alert. And you see we did have two earthquakes that happened yesterday morning around the volcano. So we had one that was... Not so strong. Then we had a 1.3 that was a little bit stronger. So this volcano is still going, guys. It's still erupting. It's sp still expected to get worse. Now, before we zoom in and see a little bit better of who got what storms, let's pick our winner for today. Ashley Cope, congratulations. You are the winner of the Solar Weather Station. Make sure you contact me at this email, weathermanplustoday at gmail.com. That way I can get your address and ship this to you as soon as possible. Novato Del Ruiz, weatherman. 
Congratulations. Thank you for supporting my channel. God bless you. I will keep you updated on what's going on with this volcano every single day. And remember, guys, we are giving away another one for tomorrow. So let's take a little bit closer look at what's going on with these storms for this morning. So as we go through 9, 10 o'clock this morning, we started getting these storms coming through. We'll be getting our snowfall coming through. None of this is going to be tornado, guys. But once we get around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, then we're going to start having these cells pop up all the way from Illinois through Missouri all the way down to Texas. And you can see the hail cores in those. Definitely got some super cells that's going to be forming up in the afternoon. So once you go from 2 to 3 o'clock, you see it starts expanding. 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. And look at all these hail cores. Look at all these hail cores that's in this system all the way up. So there's definitely going to be chances for hail all the way up this system, all the way through Arkansas, going through Missouri, going through Illinois. You can see how it kind of weakens down as it goes further up. This is at 5 o'clock. We're about to lose all the instability. And it's not going to stay super strong in the north. You're going to keep getting storms, but you're going to lose a chance for all these hail cores. It's going to turn into a damage and wind event while you're still getting damage and wind and hail cores in the south. This is by 6 o'clock. By 7 o'clock, still pushing out with the winds. By 8 o'clock, still pushing. 9, 10 o'clock, you got these storms all even along. And then overnight hours, you're starting to get some strong cells that stay consolidated to the south. So once you go around 2 o'clock in the morning for Texas, look at these hail cores that's coming with this system. Also some damage and winds that could be pushing with this. Now this is a model run. This don't mean these storms are going to be exactly right here. If these storms form up a little bit more to the west, you're going to be talking about Dallas or Houston getting affected by this. But so far it's showing a little bit further to the east. It's going to affect Beaumont. You can see the hail cores in that. As it goes through tomorrow morning, goes into Louisiana, brings y'all some hail cores as well. So there's going to be some nasty storms all the way until tomorrow. Then you start losing your hail cores. It becomes just severe storms that pass by. And you do have these storms that pass by for tomorrow for Tennessee and Kentucky as well. All afternoon long, it just builds and builds for Tennessee and Kentucky all the way until 1 o'clock in the morning, guys, for Saturday. So Friday is really going to be a big event for the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley. But the rest of this will not become tornadic after that. So we do have a lot of train and storms pushing through. There is a lot of damage and winds coming with it. But once we hit around 7 o'clock, you see how it just dissipates. Right when you get to 7 o'clock, especially 8 o'clock, it becomes a damage and wind event. So be careful of the damage and winds that come with those storms. And as you go later through the night, it's going to be more of hail and potential chance for tornadoes as you go through Texas and then late night as it goes through Louisiana for tomorrow morning. So the system's not over yet. There's still a lot more coming with it. But I can't believe that we actually had 18 tornadoes last night. That was pretty wild. I didn't expect it to get that big, guys. And then as you look with the snowfall, you see how the snowfall moves in all morning long. All afternoon, you start getting a big old banding coming through around 2 or 3 o'clock. And that stays all even along to about 7 or 8 o'clock. And then there's light amounts that just sprinkle on top of it. So you do have a good bit of snowfall coming with this system as well. So God bless all of you. I do pray that y'all stay safe through this. It is a nasty little storm. And I will keep you updated on what's going on at that volcano as well. And the storms that's coming. Because we have the cold temperatures coming behind this as well, everybody. So make sure you prepare for those temperatures as well. Now today I want to read to you Psalm 1. Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chafe which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Amen. God bless you all, protect you all, keep you all safe for what you have to go through for the rest of the day and for tonight. 
Texas and Louisiana, please be aware for the overnight hours and through the early morning hours, it looks like you have a lot of chances for the large hail and the damage and wind after they go through the severe weather event for today. And God bless all you dealing with the tornadoes and the damages that went through yesterday, especially in Cole, Oklahoma. God bless you and your families for your loss. My heart does go out to you. God bless you. And remember, all glory does go to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray he keeps all of you safe through the rest of this system and every day of your life. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you all.